Right, so hopefully you've seen my little tour around the Mercedes-Benz Classic Centre workshops and showroom. They've let me out in one of the prized possessions from it. Yes, this is a 300 SL Roadster, $1.4 million worth of 300 SL Roadster. So a little bit intimidating, but very, very honoured to be given the chance to have a go in it. What can I tell you about this car? Well, you probably already know the basic gist, don't you? But this is, of course, the Roadster version of the legendary 300 SL Gullwing, which launched in 1954. The Roadster followed in 1957. It's basically the same car, so it's got a space frame steel chassis covered in, in this instance, steel bodywork. It's got a three litre straight six with direct fuel injection, which of course was pretty pioneering for the late 1950s. They had actually already thought of it, Mercedes, and used it in aero engines during the Second World War, but they don't really talk about that so much, do they? It's a beautiful car, of course. It is one of the most iconic classic cars you could possibly wish to own, isn't it? And no wonder it's at the very top of the wish list for wealthy collectors and the kind of customers who frequent the Classic Centre here in California. It's a very Californian car, isn't it, 300 SL Road, so there's definitely a whiff of Hollywood about it. And just look, it's absolutely stunning, isn't it? Enough chatting though, opportunities to drive a 300 SL Road so they don't come up very often. I'm going to hit the road. <laughs> So here I am at the wheel of a 300 SL Roadster. What an absolute privilege. Now, I must confess, I've been lucky enough to drive quite a few of these over the years. So let me try and get across what it's like to be in one. The first thing is that they're actually quite a lot more serious than you think. Now, before I went in a 300 SL, I always thought they were a bit of a kind of boulevard cruiser. But as I will now demonstrate, the truth is that this is a proper, proper sports car. I hope you can hear me over that. Because this car makes an absolutely fabulous noise. And I think it kind of underlines the fact that in 1950s terms, this was a proper supercar. The Gullwing just as much. And the Roadster, although it looks a little bit more embellished, a little bit more glitzy, this is still a proper, proper sports car and a really exciting car to drive, not just because of the iconic looks, but just because it's a beautiful, beautiful thing. Now, they're not like perhaps a 50s Ferrari or an XK120 or something like that. They're not delicate little cars. These are heavy, solidly engineered machines. And although you can cruise at pretty high speed, they do take some manhandling as well. But a car like a 300 SL is just an event car, isn't it? And it's just being in one is just. Listen to it! It's just such an exciting thing to be around, like any classic car. Sorry, I can give you some words of wisdom, but I think you probably want to hear that engine because that fuel injected straight six is just core to the character of the 300 SL. It's got such a kind of muscular sound to it, hasn't it? And it's very German, very German sounding. I mean, compared with some of the other modes around at the time, it's not, it's not a rever. It's based on the engine from the 300 Adenauer saloon, the big limousine. But for the 300 SL, they turned it on its side. They got the direct injection power-wise. I think off the top of my head, these are about 220 horsepower, that kind of region, maybe 217. Somebody will correct me, I'm sure, but it's not a huge amount of power, but this is a car that really carries speed. You can clip along at a fair old rate. And this big old steering wheel might not look too sporty, but there's some real bite to it. You can, okay, it's not a car that you're done surrounding because those swing axles at the back, although they were improved for the Roadster to tame some of the Gullwing's slightly spikier handling habits, you have to respect this car. It's not like some old classic, something you can just kind of steer on the throttle or anything like that. It's a, it's a car that needs driving. You slow it down for the corners, you settle it, then you turn it in, then you 
balance it on the throttle and just it's just a magic thing to be in isn't it I mean look at it the, the interior is pure 50s it's got this lovely chrome the leather on the dashboard but it's not a difficult car to drive it's a Mercedes at the end of the day and Mercedes has always prided itself on making it even its older cars they're not demanding like some classic cars so you can understand the popularity of the Fringed SL it looks iconic it makes a wonderful noise people adore it everywhere you go and it's not too demanding to drive you could you can drive it in traffic you can drive it on a long journey you can drive it quickly you can drive it slowly basically it's just one of those cars where every moment is absolutely magical and having seen all those 300 SLs being restored and looked after in the classic sense you can understand why these are genuine million dollar classics quite possibly worth every cent and I am absolutely honoured to have been chucked the keys to enjoy some classic Californian back roads in it I think I've probably said enough I'm just going to get on with enjoying this car for what it is I hope you do too